All right, so this is going to be a test of the Apple Pencil versus the Microsoft Surface in both their shipping default notes apps as well as a test with Adobe Photoshop. Start with some big block letters. I'm just gonna do a little, a little cute doodle. All right, so now we're taking a look at the Microsoft Surface Book and how it interacts with its companion pen technology. So again, we're gonna start off with big block lettering. Microsoft's pen is about as responsive as the pencil. Although it does feel like there's more lag because you've got this little pointer that comes on the screen as you get close. This is very similar to Wacom's technology. It also appears to me that the Microsoft Surface has a little bit more trouble writing in very, very small fonts or small faces. The pressure seems also a little bit harder for me to control. You can calibrate the Microsoft Surface, and I did before starting this test. And while the calibration has certainly made it better, it's not quite as responsive pressure-wise as the iPad Pencil. So with Fresh Paint, you can choose your canvas and paper style as well as your pencil style. I don't think that the built-in pencils here are quite as good as Apple's renditions or um, Procreate's renditions. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a drawing. Because I'm not a comic book artist for a living, all of my drawings are slightly different. I'm doing this freehand. I'm not looking at the other drawing that I did. So like the iPad Pro, the Surface uh, and the Surface Book, they're very precise, which is nice. They have about the same level of precision that I can feel. The Surface Pen is a little bit clickier it does have that same kind of push in that the pencil does, but you can physically hear the click, click, click as you draw around. Well, the pencil feels very natural. I know exactly how much pressure is going to create a stronger line or a thinner line. Uh, same thing with using a real pencil. Um, with the Surface, it feels a lot more like when I'm using a Wacom tablet, where the level of pressure um, is mostly on point, but can occasionally do some weird things um, and putting light, pressing lightly and not really intending to get as much line as I end up getting. And Windows 10 has both a tablet and a desktop mode, which means yes, you can do things like run Photoshop on, uh, on the Surface. So we're gonna compare direct Photoshop manipulation on the Surface to using AstroPad on the iPad. So first, let's start with a Photoshop test on the Surface. Like the iPad, the palm rejection is great. There we go, there's an inking test in Photoshop on the Surface Book. On the iPad, there are two different options uh, to work with Photoshop. 
Adobe has a bunch of mini Photoshop-like applications that it's chopped up uh, over the App Store, including this Photoshop sketch. Now you can start to work in one of these applications and then tap the share button and send a PSD directly to Creative Cloud or Photoshop or Illustrator on your Mac. So this is a great way to start work at something that you want to then complete somewhere else. Here I can either choose to leave this as a sketch and send this to Photoshop, or I can go and do an ink on top of it. So there's that, and I can tap send to Photoshop just like that, and it'll send to Photoshop on my Mac.